Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be checking out Pop OS 20.4 and one of the bigger features, which is their tiling windows. Now I didn't spoil myself, so I didn't even watch anybody else's review. I know what stuff came out on here and I do want to test it out with you guys. So let's get started. So before we begin, I do want to mention that I now started Twitch streaming. Now, a couple of weeks back, um, I made a bunch of videos where I actually left the troubleshooting bits in the video itself. And I got a lot of comments saying like, I like this type of style, et cetera, et cetera. And I see how you do things. That's what the stream is basically dedicated on. And it's going to be me basically doing a lot of behind the scenes where I set up for a project or do something for a project. And I basically live stream it and have a chat with you guys. So remember the last video I just did with the AMD GPU driver? that whole thing was streamed I actually figured out everything through I think about three streams and now I'm on the course of trying to figure out how to do layouts on Linux and how to do all the stuff that Linux cannot do on streaming so yeah if you want to drop by a link down in the description below I say hi come hang out and if you guys have any questions about previous streams you can always check me out on twitch or on my discord anyway let's begin so here we have the new pop OS layout and I'm just taking a look at it. They didn't change much and they did change the wallpaper itself. And now they have this new icon up on top. But before I jump into that, uh, I do want to take a look at their settings just to see if they actually included a lot of the stuff. See, like, look, I pop into the settings right now and the new Ubuntu 20.04 has the fractional scaling uh, bit here where you can enable. So this doesn't have that yet, but the Ubuntu 20.04 does. Um, network is fine, Bluetooth, appearance, appearance here. You can change the wallpaper. Now I have a light theme and a dark theme. Uh, okay. I like the light theme actually. The dark theme looks pretty good too, but I don't think it really works well with this wallpaper as of yet until we change the wallpaper. I'm going to keep with the light theme just to see how that works out. Uh, notifications. Okay. That seems to be the same applications uh okay sounds now oh you know what that should have been hdmi um i don't have a mic so that's fine power uh it sees my keyboard and my mouse that's really cool blank screen five yeah okay that's normal displays that's the only thing i had complained about which is fractional scaling it's not enabled here uh, natural scrolling, keyboard, printer. We will be checking out keyboard shortcuts because I need to figure out how to work that tiling stuff. Remove media, color, okay. Nothing much has changed here. It doesn't seem like it added anything new. Default applications. Oh, you know what's another application that uh, it's pre-installed in Ubuntu 20.04 is uh, Remina. No, it's not in here. Wow, okay. Now, oh, another thing, did they keep, oh, because I'm on desktop, it doesn't have it. But if you're on a laptop, you should see power modes where you can set it to balance. Now, Pop OS is actually really good for a laptop. And I've, I stressed about this many, many times. My main desktop is actually still using Ubuntu 20.04 and my other desktop is using elementary OS. But for my laptop, Pop OS seems to be the best because they actually have all these software that's built in for laptop battery usage. So they have uh, power uh, performance modes, balance modes, uh, uh, battery saving mode. They also have an option where you can select your dedicated graphic card or your uh, built in Intel graphic card. So you have like, you can switch between the both. Um, it's all set in there. You normally won't find that on a normal distribution unless you installed it like that or you installed Bumblebee or something like that. But in Pop OS, it's, it, it just works that way. Uh, also, I am on an AMD platform. That's probably why it doesn't have the NVIDIA, NVIDIA stuff. Anyway, moving on. Uh, they haven't changed much as far as theming goes. It looks pretty much the same. Um, they haven't had too much options. The only big thing that I see that they changed was this tiling window mode. Now, before I jump into it, show active hints. Mm, they have your gap mode that you could set. Then you have launchers and view all. Okay, so launcher is super key slash and navigate windows is super key arrow. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on tiling mode. It looks normal right now. So I'm gonna open a file browser. That's gonna be full screen. Okay, 
Now, I'm a huge fan of tiling windows. If you see my previous videos on um, i3 and all that other stuff, I, I love tiling windows because I find it to be more efficient when you're working on single screen. Uh, let's open Pop Shop. Okay, that's cool. It automatically, it acts like very smooth. Gave it a gap, but I also have the windows borders and I can still drag. Oh, cool. I like that. All right, uh, moving on. If I was to open a terminal, okay oh look it's smart it actually like moves it to oh it full screens when i need to so if i do windows this is their new um application menu so if i do windows key uh question mark plus the slash uh shows you the current applications that are open and if i want to open a text editor bam okay now I can move this anywhere I want and it'll kind of like do a smart sizing and figure out, okay, that's a weird overlapping. Uh, smart sizing and figure out where the positions are. Okay, what if I want to, is there like show, wait, shortcuts, view all, there you go. How do I make this a window mode? Oh, no, that's quirky. So that didn't work out very well, okay. Um, how do I change it to a window mode? Okay, um, so to set windows to be floating, it's toggle, uh, super key G, so super G. Okay, so now this is a floating window. It still kept the, uh, the little orange border, so it tells you which one is active. And it allows me to, okay, if I was to switch this to another, is it Windows key? No, Windows key will select the, I can't select the floating window anymore. That's what, okay. That's not fun. I would have to alt tab to get to the, yeah, that window back. Okay. Uh, change window orientation. What is that? Windows key, oh, oh okay. So it's top and uh, horizontal or vertical orientation. I get that. So if I want to open another terminal, I would do terminal and no, it actually doesn't even open the terminal because I have one open. So if I want to open something else, give me an idea, settings. Oh, about system, okay. I'm gonna open this and it's frozen. Completely frozen. I broke it, okay. Yeah, let's reboot this and see what happens. Um, let me see if I can pop back into there. No. I don't want to say that it's not stable, but just testing the operating system caused a crash. I don't know. <laughs> All right, and we are back. Let's uh, finish this up. Now, I did. Okay, stayed in that mode of tiling window. So let's um, terminal and let's open up Pop Shop again. Now let's open text editor. So I got three windows going on again. I'm gonna go back to the shortcuts. Uh, floating is uh, Windows key G. There's not much. It's actually enter adjustment mode which if I do Windows key enter, it makes me, allows me to move the window. Windows key enter, then I do shift and I can resize it. Okay. I'm not a big fan of the Windows key enter to be the window mode. I rather prefer to be swapped where it's Windows key question mark to be a window mode because I'm so used to Windows key enter to be my uh, menu. But that's just from me using i3 and all the other stuff. Um, apply changes, escape to cancel changes, swap windows is control, left and right. Uh, workspaces, that's just normal. Uh, navigation windows, super to, so super is to choose between the windows. Super enter, and I can move the windows. Shift, decrease window size. Swap windows, control. Oh, okay, that's what it meant. So I could move between whatever window I want to swap. Yep, okay. Pretty interesting. 
they've got a lot of the features in there um, that I would like. Uh, I probably should be able to swap the shortcuts if I needed to because I'm so accustomed to using Windows Key Enter. Uh, there was It's a little buggy because it completely crashed my GUI before and I couldn't get it back unless I went into the terminal and rebooted the computer, which was weird. It could have been something I did too, but I was just starting a program, so I don't know what that was all about. I think this is a huge change. It, it, it is a really good thing, especially if you're able to add this type of feature to GNOME. Um, it would make it a lot more productive in a sense because I like using tiled windows because I could see everything all in one spot, especially for a single monitor setup. Now this is the default theme and you guys know me, I would probably change out the theme like if you've seen on my previous Pop! OS videos. Uh, I would have to figure out a good theme that was uh, work for this. And I would think something with a smaller border would probably look really good on this. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this little review, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about Pop! OS, hit it down in the comments below. I am going to leave it on this operating system for a little bit because I saw some comments on my previous video where people can get uh, AMD OpenCL drivers to work. So I'm going to give that a try over here and I'll see if I can get that working. And you'll probably see that on my stream because I'm going to be doing that soon. Anyway, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.